Hey guys, we're going to do assignment 2-1, um, and it is upload your cast notes. So we took quite a bit of notes on the first page, on page 67, and then we're going to do questions 13 through 28, and, and then you're going to watch this video. So this will actually be, you probably clicked this word video to watch this video here. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, now, this is not assigned, but there's some extra practice questions if you'd like some extra practice. So let's do it. Question 13. It says, generalize in the diagram shown, X and Y adds up to 180. So that means it's a linear pair. So X and Y add up to 180, which means this would have to be Y here. Uh, y, right? X and Y would add up to 180, label all the remaining X or Y. So we did, um, in our notes, right? So if I flip back to my notes to look at those really quickly, let me just look at the diagram. Yeah, there's the diagram. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We noticed that all of the even numbers were equal, right? Angle two, four, six, and eight were all equal. And so I guess you could think of all the even ones as Y. All of the acute angles are equal. And then all of this angle X, this angle X would be all the obtuse angles. So I could angle all these X. And X, mean, this little zero just means degree. So it's hard to kind of fit that little zero in there. But it says generalize, in general, label the diagram. And that's all they wanted. And so whenever though I use letters, a lot of, instead of numbers, a lot of students stop understanding what I mean there. So if I had two parallel lines, let me insert some numbers and hopefully that might make a little bit more sense. So if I get on my protractor, this looks about 60 degrees. This would then be 60. <coughs> Sorry. That's 60, that's 60. So X is 60 and now we know X plus Y is 180. So if we know X is 60, we could think of it as subtracting 60 on both sides to figure out, well, what would Y be? So Y would have to be 120, right? 120, 120, 120, 120. So in my picture, X is 120. Oh, that's weird. And Y is 60. I kind of flip-flop these. Let me be a little more accurate for the example I made. Here, I actually highlighted the X as the 120. Yeah. So here I've made X 120. So Y is 60. Okay, but the question's only asking for this. I'm just trying to help make sense. Now question number 14, a transversal intersects two parallel lines. So let's draw the two parallel lines. This symbol means they're parallel and a transversal. So here's my transversal. And I usually like to highlight that one purple. And this is the area between the two parallel lines as my road. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines and the, it measures, the measure of a pair of alternate interior angles is 5V and 2W. So this would be 5V. Maybe this one is alternate interior is 2W. Now our notes tell us that alternate interior angles are congruent. 
So we would have to say 5V is equal in measurement to 2W because they said they are alternate interior angles, okay? Now they said a measure of same side exterior are 10W and 5V. So let's think about that. Same side exterior. So we know corresponding, this would also be 5V, right? 5V and 5V. So let's say these angles, 10W and 5V, these numbers are exterior, same side exterior, right? They're both on the left there. Well, we know from our notes that same side exterior angles are supplementary. They add up to 180. Same side exterior angles add up to 180. So this is a system of equation question. Some students feel more comfortable if they change. Let's change V to an X and W to a Y. Because if we do that, some students might go, oh, I think I know how to answer this. If this said 5X is equal to 2Y, and then the second equation said 5x plus 10y equals 180, then you might say, oh, I, this is a system of equations. So there's a couple of different ways to answer this, but you have two equations with an x and a y. So notice um, one technique would be to substitute. So if I see an x, 5x, I could substitute a 2y. So see how I see a 5x here? I could just substitute in a 2y, and that still would be a true statement. So by substitution, I could write 2y plus 10y is 180. So that would combine to make 12y. And let's just do a quick calculation. I get 15. Now remember, I called that W, so I can go back to my code. I called WY, but anyway, okay. And now I've solved the mystery of Y, so I can plug that in. I, I said 5X is equal to 2Y, and we now know Y is 15. So 5X would be equal to 30, and if I divide 5 on both sides, I get 6. So I've I solved my question, what's W and what's X? or what's W and what's V, we call this V. So there's our answers. V is six and W is 15. Check out the next video for the next group of questions.